A once trusted employee of the Las Vegas Valley Water District was sentenced to more than four years in prison today for stealing close to seven million dollars in a scheme that went undetected for eight years. The large scale theft was first made public by the 8 News Now I team almost three years ago. Federal authorities arrested Jennifer J.J. McCain months later. George Knapp was in court when that sentence was handed down. George. Yeah, what's amazing about this story is not only how brazen this theft was and the huge amount that was stolen, but also it went on for so long without anyone noticing. Jennifer J.J. McCain Bray was well liked and well trusted, but today appeared broken and humiliated by actions which she blamed in part on addictions and other disorders as she asked the court for a lighter sentence. The judge didn't buy it. J.J. McCain had nothing to say after the boom was lowered in federal court. But before being sentenced, she told a tearful tale to Judge Kent Dawson about her emotional and psychological issues, family illnesses, a drug problem, and an addiction to spending that combined to lead her down the road to crime. The judge wasn't moved. This was not, after all, a one-time mistake by McCain, he said. It went on for eight long years, and McCain had flaunted her ill-gotten gains. As the the I team first reported she spent millions of pilfered dollars on home improvements, a pool and casita, expensive toys including RVs and boats, trips and gifts for family and friends. McCain worked as a purchasing agent at the Water District. Starting in 2007, she started buying huge amounts of ink, printer cartridges from one vendor, Staples. It was far more ink than could ever be used at the district, much of it from machines that were no longer in use. Purchases were disguised in different accounts. The ink was then shipped out from the Water District to a small distributor in New Jersey, which sold them and sent money back to McCain. She stashed a lot of the cash in PayPal accounts and went on a massive spending binge. The Water District estimated the theft at more than $4 million, but the actual total was closer to $7 million. It was a $6.7 million fraud scheme. Public service is a public trust, and today's sentence uh, sends a strong signal to, to anybody who violates that trust that the U.S. Attorney's Office and the IRS is looking at it. Prosecutors noted that McCain has yet to pay back a cent of what was stolen. The water district was reimbursed by insurance for about half the amount. In addition to a 51-month prison sentence, McCain is on the hook for the full amount, which could mean the seizure of items purchased with the loot. McCain told the court she is humiliated and remorseful for the shame she's caused to her family. Water District officials didn't notice the theft or the out-of-whack ink purchases until December 2015, then reported it to law enforcement. The district instituted changes, which it believes will present, prevent this from happening again. No charges were filed against the New Jersey people who received the stolen goods. McCain has until April 29th to report to prison. And if you'd like to see the whole sordid history of this case, we have links on our website. My goodness, almost $7 million, too. That's a lot of money. That's a, a lot, lot of public money. Thank you, George.